Hey guys, here's a quick video on how to transform your wig from this to this. So if you are interested in watching how, stay tuned. So here's what the wig looks like when my client first brought it in. So what I did was place the wig on her head, pulled it down further past her hairline, and I parted it from ear to ear and cut whatever hair came off. And the piece that I cut off ended up being this little piece right here. So you can see it's more of a straight across hairline. But at first I was going to throw it away, but then I came up with this idea like, hey, what if I take the hair that I cut off and place it in the patch area and glue it? We can actually recreate you a new hairline and actually do the style that she wanted to do for a columbia trip so once i cut that piece off i went in with my tweezers and i began to pluck because the area that i cut off was plucked and patchy so now we have to create a new hairline so that's why i did go in from side to side and pluck in those areas that i needed to pluck in so after gluing the wig down um this is what it looks like you see we still have that big patch there but the other side of the hairline is fine so i decided to take that uh piece that i end up cutting off the front of her wig and use it to fill in the blank spot there that way we're able to you know camouflage the patch better and do a style that she actually wanted for her trip so i'm just going in with my lace made adhesive glue and i'm using two layers and even though you cannot see it guys i'm placing the glue on top of lace and um, yes my wigs are real hd lace so you really can't see it but i am placing that glue right onto that hd lace and i'm going to do two layers of that and once that's ready to uh you know be tacked down i will take that lace and place it right on top of that glue So now I'm going to take that lace and go ahead and place it directly on top of that uh, patched up HD lace, even though you cannot see it guys, but I'm placing it right on top of that lace and I'm going to push it in with my fingertips, also take my comb, comb it in, and I did also blow dry it in um, so it can be secure. And then I'm going to cut off any extra lace that doesn't need to be there and still tack down any other areas that still need to be glued down. And now I'm just going to go in with my tweezers a little bit and just pluck a little more in some areas that look extremely too thick. And this is what it looks like after replacing that lace on that area. And I'm just going to do this other small little area here. I had another piece. So I was like, let me find some use for this other small piece on the hairline and just fill in where I can. And then once I do that, I will take my even holding spray and spray the hairline completely. 
and uh, secure it down with my melt belt. And off camera, I did go ahead and complete the finishing look, but I just wanted to show you guys how I was able to fix my client's patch without her having to uh, throw out her whole wig and I just like kind of improvise. So this little new technique that I came out with that you guys should try out and let me know how it works for you. But this is the finishing look after I did go ahead and style her hair up. Just showing you what it looked like once I was completely done. Um, and yes, quick thing, you can also replace the frontal on a wig, but in this case, we couldn't today, so we made it work, because that's what I do. Period. Bye from the go.